What is up, everybody? It is Guy Smiley here, and we have like four packages that we're gonna be unboxing in this video. There's some really cool pieces from Bricklink in here. Uh, three of these are Bricklink orders, and then we have one package here that is from somebody on Instagram here. So we'll unbox this one first, and then we'll do then we'll do the Bricklink orders. A lot of really cool pieces in there that I needed to complete various sets that I have. So uh, I'm gonna start doing reviews of some sets that I have. So I needed to get some parts to complete them, and uh, just a lot of really cool stuff in there a lot of really cool pieces that aren't just like they're not just like um pieces that uh you normal they're not just normal pieces they're uh, very interesting parts in there but in this package from uh this is from elite tc on instagram and Flickr. he was selling some stuff and i figured i would pick it up because uh it's uh getting a little bit rare i would say so here we have what is in this package here um, we have some Tiny Tactical stuff. Actually, no, it's not Tiny Tactical. It's a Minifig Cat. I got some Minifig Cat vests. And we also got some little, uh, amazing, uh, little, little arm shop? Yeah, little arm shop. Uh, little armory. Actually, no, I think it's little armory. Or, or, yeah, these are little armory guns. And, uh, cause they, they came after the little arms shop. And a uh, little armory just kind of went out of business, actually. I think that th their website closed down. It's no longer up. I'll put a picture on the screen right now of what their website used to look like. And, uh, they closed that down so you can no longer get these guns from them. And they're actually, um, they're really cool. You know, they have a really cool style to them. They're kind of like, honestly, if Lego were to make, uh, custom guns for Star Wars back in like 10 years ago, this is probably what they look like. They're definitely not detailed hardly at all. They're very simple, very simplistic. And I think that's why they look kind of really cool. They match with like the older style clone troopers very well. Here we have a silver one of the uh, DC-15. We have one of these silver stormtrooper blasters. We have a DC-15 long version. I, I don't really know the names of all the guns. And then we have one of these uh, really cool blaster pistols that Captain Fordo used in the 2003 animated series in silver. This is my favorite version. Uh, they made my favorite version of this gun. Uh, Clone Army Customs does make one as well, but uh, it doesn't look as good, I think, as the one that was uh, made by Little Armory, the Little Arms Shop. Little arm shop, I should say. Little arm shop. <laughs> a little armory is even more rare than this. They were from, like, before, like, 2005. I do have some of their guns as well that you guys will see a video on very soon. But this is also uh, Captain Rex's gun right here. We have a DC-15 pistol of some kind. Uh, it looks very strange. You know, they, their, their designs were a little bit strange. They weren't very... They weren't... I, they honestly weren't very good looking. Uh, especially this one, honestly. It's, it's just not very, it just doesn't look good at all. It's very big. Here it is in a minifigure's hand. As you can see, it's very large. Uh, definitely not an accurate size for Captain Rex's gun. But, you know, it does look good. And, you know, it might work just if you don't want to use it as Captain Rex's gun. Just use it as, like, a sci-fi gun. It does look actually kind of cool there in a minifigure hand. So, yeah. Uh, we got all of those. And then we got this. Uh, I just figured I would get this because it's kind of cool. It's just a clone pauldron. Um, would be kind of useful. It is, I don't really know what brand it is. It's printed on a, it's a, it does have a cloth backing to it here. It's like a very, it's like a felt backing. And then this is like a plasticky part right here. So that looks really good. It's a very nice uh, pauldron there, a red, red pauldron. I don't really have any of these actually. I only have one in blue and it's on Captain Rex right now. And then we got uh, two M1 pot helmets from Brick Arms. Very nice of him to throw those in. And then we actually got our minifig cat stuff right here. We got two of these helmets. And we got three of these dark tan vests right here. Those look really good. Really awesome vests for minifig cat. Uh, I wish they were black. Uh, I might just paint them black because I don't really use dark tan vests very often. I could use the black ones for... Uh, World in Darkness figures, and then we have the night vision goggles for the helmet, and then we have another mini fig cat vest in black right here. I think he threw this one in for, threw this one in for free because I don't think I remember buying that one. So uh, really nice of him to throw in that as a freebie, and then we got two headsets there as well. So yeah, really awesome package from uh, Elite TC on Instagram. I'll put a picture on the screen right now of his his his, his uh, Instagram if you guys want to check him out. I think he does have some other stuff for sale still. But uh, moving on to a Bricklink order now, we're going to do a Bricklink order next. 
Um, this one, I don't really know what is in each of these, so we're gonna just uh, go through each one and it'll kind of be a surprise opening of what's inside these. Found my scissors, first bricklink order right here. We'll see what we have in here. What is this? I forgot. I forgot what I bought. <laughs> Uh, so we have really cool pieces in here. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. A lot of classic parts in here. Uh, packed very, very nicely. This is from, this is this one is from Little Bricks on Bricklink. They have a very good selection of minifigure pieces. And so first off, we got two of these old Star Wars astromech droids right here and these co these go to a certain set that I was missing this piece from so I'm really happy to finally get this my set will finally be complete I figured I would just get two of them since they're pretty cheap and uh, then maybe I could use one in a build if I wanted to as well so this is the set that droid head goes to right there uh, it's the Jedi Starfighter with hyperdrive booster ring as you can see my version is uh, very badly yellowed right there I might need to replace those pieces or try to take that yellowing off somehow but the Starfighter itself is actually in very good condition here it looks really cool it's got the Obi-Wan Kenobi inside there and uh, we can finally actually uh, put this droid head right there where it's supposed to be and now the Starfighter is completed I've, I've waited a very long time to find a store that had these that had something else that I needed so that I could justify buying it and then we also got these heads here we got some Exoforce heads in this bag and we also got some very rare heads as well from Star Wars so we got three Exoforce heads and those look really, really cool. I wanted to get some Exoforce heads because I thought that I might uh, just try to use them in something. Uh, and because uh, they are kind of cool, you know, I do like the very detailed eyes that they have. You know, they do they do look kind of cool, very, very stylistic. I kind of like that style. It kind of reminds me of like the Clone Wars style that, that they had for the, uh, the uh, like the 2008 Clone Wars figures. And then we got two of these heads right here. And these have a very interesting story behind them. They are from a set. They're from this set over here. Let me see if I can show you guys. We have... The heads are from this set right here. The Republic Frigate. Uh, mine is very, very dusty. I'll have to clean that off. But uh, that set included a Qui-Gon Jinn minifigure. However, the set that I got included this version of Qui-Gon Jinn here. And as you can see, that is the wrong head for Qui-Gon Jinn. And if you go on Bricklink, this is the version of the figure that... Uh, there's two versions of that set, actually. There's th th They made a mistake with the head, and they included this head here, which is more of an Obi-Wan Kenobi head. And this is the head that should have been included in the set. So uh, they made a mistake with that, and uh, some people got this head, some people got this head. And I, I think that I don't I don't know what they uh, they gave you if you asked for a replacement uh, via Lego's like a replacement parts service. So uh, yeah, the, you can buy these on Bricklink. They're pretty cheap. They're like classic. They're like usually this this print is only available on the yellow heads from the uh, very old Star Wars sets. So it's really cool to get this on a flesh tone minifigure head. You can buy these on Bricklink for like a dollar each. So yeah, really happy to get those, uh, to get the correct head for my Qui-Gon Jinn minifigure there. Now he'll be Qui-Gon Jinn and not in just an old version of Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> but uh, yeah, really cool to get those. And then we got a uh, Joker torso here from the uh, 2005 Batman set here. Uh, I'm going to be completing that set very soon. Uh, I got it in a lot from somebody on OfferUp, and then we got a purple torso as well that I needed for that set. And then in here we have some uh, tools as well that I needed for that set, and some of these uh, these uh, dark orange hair pieces that I also needed for that uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi minifigure. So moving on to the next package here, well, we will unbox this one here next. I don't know what's in this one. Well, actually, I think I know what's in this one, because it's the only other smaller one, so it has to be... Something that I was uh, very excited to get here. We have the, uh, the this is the info plaque to Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter UCS set. And you guys remember I got this set in a lot from somebody on Craigslist and it was almost complete except for the stand. And I built the stand and now I have the plaque for the set. So we will go put this on there right now. And the set right here is finally complete, so now I can do a review on this pretty soon. And then there was a couple of other things in the uh, package as well, I believe, right here. We have 
the Joker's hair for that Batman set that I uh, was going to complete. And we have another dark orange hair. Uh, I paid too much for this one because they were actually available, available for cheaper at the other store. So now I have three plenty of dark orange hair pieces. And then I got this really cool backpack here from the Adventurers line. I could definitely see myself using this on like a truck as like just a big pack on the side of the truck or maybe on like a mech or something like that. So yeah, this looks really cool and it does open up. It's one of these old Adventurers backpacks that actually opens up and you can fit stuff inside of there inside there and now for the final package here this is the biggest one um we're gonna see i i don't really know if there's anything really interesting inside this one but we'll find out right now um because i might this might just be parts to that batman set that i've been working on in this video so uh yeah we have a lot of pieces in here so this is probably the highlight of this right here we got a vintage ninja minifigure this is from the lego ninjas theme and i really wanted to have this figure here because he looks really awesome i'm I, I i'm working on like maybe what i think will be a, a medieval asia medieval ninjas build and i wanted to have one of these here for the helmet of the figures for that scene and uh this was a good price uh, it was only like six dollars for this minifigure here it's in very, very nice condition. That chrome piece is looking so awesome there. So nice looking. And then there's the head right there. He does have a little bit of like a headband going on there. And then here is the body print. Really awesome looking body print. I love the dragons on the side of the torso there. That looks so awesome. And I really like that there's no, there's no yellow on the, the, the neck part there. So you can use that body for flesh tone minifigures if you want to as well. But uh, here we have the pieces. Just a lot of uh, random parts here for the uh, B-Wing and for the Batman set that I'm completing. We have the Joker wing there with the J on it. Um, there is some really cool pieces in here that I'm going to show you guys. So we have the Joker's flag right there, which I needed for the Batman set, which we'll put on there after this. Then we have the legs for the Joker. And then we have some of these. And these are really cool pieces here. These are actually Modulex. They are like a small version of Legos. And I think that they were mainly used for people in like architecture. And they were for building like little models of uh, like houses and stuff. And so I got three letter, three numbers here that I could use on a build. On like a sci-fi build, if I want to have like numbers on it, I could uh, use these numbers here. They actually fit on the inside of a normal Lego 1x2 brick. You can put these in the bottom of the clear bricks. Let me just see if they fit inside here uh, on the inside of a normal 1x2 brick. Maybe make sure I confirm this before I tell you guys about that. So yeah, they do. They do fit on the inside just like that. All right, everybody. So we actually got another BrickLink order in uh, just after I finished filming that video. And that contains the last pieces that I need to complete this this Batman set right here. This is the Batman, the Joker's Aer Aerial Assault. And uh, we're going to complete this set right now. And uh, it's going to be really awesome. Then I'll be able to sell it for uh, quite a bit of money, actually. Because uh, I... I, I priced it out, and uh, the thing about com uh, completing old sets like this is usually the money that you will put in parts is actually worth it because you can get a lot more for the set rather than just selling it like this because this I only had it listed at like $75 and nobody wanted it. So and now that it is 100% complete, I will be able to sell it for a lot more. I'll probably be able to sell it for like 150 All right, you guys, and as you can see, the set is now officially complete. Uh, the only pieces I don't have to it are the Joker's playing card, and there's like a little pistol that goes to the Joker's henchman here. He should have a little pistol, but I, did, I don't have that piece either. So I'm just going to sell it without those two pieces, and now I'll be able to get a pretty good price for this. I bet I'll be able to get like $150 for this set now, because it's like almost 100% complete. It has a box. It has the instructions right there. It has Batman over here. I already had the body to Batman, and I just bought the helmet. Uh, 
helmet and the head. And then for Joker, for the Joker here, the Joker minifigure, uh, I had the head. That was the only piece that was included in this lot when I bought it. Uh, but luckily enough, the head is actually the most expensive and rare piece to the Joker. And I was able to get the hair for like $4 and the body for $1.50. So he was a pretty cheap minifigure to complete for the set here. And here's all the cool pieces that I got in that last order that I received after I had already unboxed the other ones. Uh, we got some really cool printed tiles here, some uh, some uh, Native American plume pieces there, some uh, some of those samurai things, some of these helmets right here. This is just the old Joker's piece that I had, so I just went ahead and bought a new one for the tail of the helicopter right there, because this one is really, really in bad condition. And uh, yeah, so yeah, some really cool printed pieces here that I'll be able to use and build, some police things right there, some Rock Raiders helmets. I always buy these when I see a store that has them, because they're getting hard to find in quantity, and uh, this, this order was actually from Thailand. So I ordered it from this the, the store that was a long way away because they actually had all the pieces that I needed. And uh, yeah, so it worked out really well. The shipping was actually very cheap from Thailand as well. It was only like $8. So only like, only like $3 more than US shipping. So yeah, it worked out really well to order from an international store for this stuff. And I think that is going to be it for this video. Be sure to leave a comment down below with your guys' favorite items that I got in this unboxing slash haul video. Be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. And I will see you guys next time.